So good morning, hello and welcome. Thanks very much for joining us for today's webinar. Before I introduce today's guest we, and we get started, I would like to respectfully acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the country and their continuing connection with the land, waters and culture. We pay our respects to all traditional owners and to elders past, present and emerging. So this morning, uh, the RTA is joined by Mark Davidson, who is the State Manager of the Tenancy Skills Institute. Uh, the RTA would like to welcome Mark. Um, Tenancy Skills and the RTA have been supporting each other for some time. And Mark will provide us today with a bit of background to that relationship, along with the Tenancy Skills Program called Skill Sets for Successful Tenancy. Before we get on to Mark's presentation, um, we will be using the chat function today. Uh, so if you have any questions as we go along through today's webinar, please um, use the chat and pop them in there. Uh, if you can't find the chat function as indicated on your screen, um, check your Zoom toolbar or click on the more and look for chat there. Also at the end of today's uh, session, we'd love to hear from you on how the session went, as well as any future topics that you may uh, like to hear from us about. Please look out for a survey at the end. Uh, your feedback will help us deliver education on what you want to know more about. So before we move across uh, and to Mark, I will just run a quick poll to get an indication of where people are from and uh, what's going on. So if you'll see that poll being launched, and I'll give you a few seconds to fill that in. So just looking there for where you're from and which sector. All right, thank you very much. So looks like we've got a fairly high percentage today uh, property manager agents and from the southeast Queensland area. So we will um, use that information uh, as we're going through. But um, so moving on, Mark, welcome along and thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Mark, um, and thank you for joining us today. So, yeah, as Mark said, my name is Mark Davidson. I'm the State Manager of the Tenancy Skills Institute. Um, so today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of Tenancy Skills, who we are and who we're part of, a little bit of information around our tenant education, the type of courses that we offer, and also um, a little bit of information around the content within um, the different modules. Uh, talk a little bit about the relationships that we form uh, with different, with the real estate industry, with the community support sector and with local communities, um, and also give you a little bit of information around our upcoming courses and also how you can help people access our education. Um, you'll see on this screen, uh, this is, I guess, a little bit of a mantra for us in that um, we see a future housing system where the private, public and community sectors share a common goal of better rental outcomes for everyone and, and work together towards that. Thanks, Mark. So I'll just let you know um, who we are and who we're part of. So we're part of In Community, um, who was uh, um, formerly called it. Um, Ipswich Independent Youth Service. So In Community has been operating since 1982. So we're celebrating um, 40, 40th anniversary this year. Um, and until recently, we were mainly working in Ipswich and West Morton communities um, and, and mainly around housing and homelessness. So we began in 1982 with having a, um, a crisis accommodation shelter. Just very quickly, um, so there are three, I guess, brands or, or service arms of, of In Community. Um, so, of course, tenancy skills, but in community connect. So that's really um, the part of in community that's been going since 1982. So we have crisis accommodation um, and many other support programs for Ipswich and West Morton communities, um, some short term community housing accommodation. We developed a spin um, supporting people and share housing model to help people become more rent ready. Um, we provide mobile and outreach homeless support. Um, a women's support group called the club and also dignity food relief 
You may have heard of Bed Down. So Bed Down has recently joined in community, um, which we're very happy about. So Bed Down looks to activate and repurpose spaces that are underutilized um, at night into pop-up accommodation solutions to ensure the homeless and those who are sleeping rough are able to sleeping rough, sorry, are able to have um, a good night's sleep and have a better night. And of course, Tenancy in Skills Institute, um, where we look to create better rental outcomes for all through tenant education. Thanks, Mark. So I just wanted to um, share some reflections um, from our CEO actually around the first um, couple of conversations that he had around this idea of tenant education. So, and it was with a person by the name of Andrew Kenman um, and his initial um, comment was, your clients are too risky for us. But what surprised Paul was that um, they're willing to talk with us so our local real estate um, friends, um, willing to come and meet with us, even though it was costing wages to that business, um, didn't really know how to use our sector to help solve problems in tenancies and with difficult tenancies. And when we started to speak about issues and possible solutions, everyone at the meeting wanted to create opportunities for tenants. Um, this is just a very quick overview of, um, I guess, our journey so far. And I won't spend too much time on this just because we do have a bit of information to get through, uh, but very quickly. So starting off with that coffee and chat and initial meetings in 2013, we started developing the model in 2017 and connecting with local real estates. Um, in 2018, um, state government approached us to um, do a small locally funded trial in Toowoomba, Ipswich and Logan and also a small public housing trial. Um, and you'll see in each year there that there's sort of how many people have participated in our course and also how many real estate supporters have come on board. Um, so you see by 2019, we'd had over 850 participants and 80 real estate supporters. Um, 2020, 2,400 participants, 158 supporters. Uh, and we're sitting around... Um, just over 200 supporters at the moment with 190 of those from Queensland. Um, you'll see that there's some of the different things we developed between then and now. So look, this is what we do. We, we develop and deliver tenant education options, um, but also really importantly, we invest in building positive and purposeful relationships with the real estate industry, with the community sector, and, and especially with local communities. Great. So just firstly, um, our tenant education, there is no cost to students to access any of our course options. So um, we are fully funded and therefore um, all course options are free. Um, so we, at the moment, we do actually have two options. So everyone who knows of us would know the skill sets for, for successful tenancies course. So um, this course was developed with um, local real estate um, of agencies in the real estate industry and is recognised by the real estate industry as appropriate for tenants who are looking to rent in the private market, looking to improve their current tenancy or looking to improve their skills and viability as a tenant within the current competitive market. It's up to 10 hours learning um, and it really does cover all topics related to renting in a private tenancy. We've brought in a new um, short course called Introduction to Renting. And this really came out of a lot of our work with the high schools and seeing that um, the full course really wasn't necessarily appropriate for people when they weren't ready to look at private renting. So really just to give them that overview and awareness of, um, you know, of some of the important things to be aware of in, in tenancies. So um, it's a two hour, it's, it's an interactive um, workshop. Um, there are no assessments. It is great for future renters. Uh, we do have a discussion around share housing, which we're actually adding into the skill sets for successful tenancies course. And it just creates a, yeah, a great foundation for people who have not had a private tenancy before and aren't currently looking to go into the private, you know, into private market um, or looking for private rental. It's obviously great for, um, for school leavers. Um, and it also creates, creates a great platform for people when they are looking to go into the private market, that they're aware that the skill sets for successful tenancies course is there and that it would be important for them to do that. Um, at the moment with our learning options, we're just offering that as a closed course, um, which means we just pro provide it either in schools or some community organisations who are working with people that uh, are not ready to be looking at renting at, at the moment. Um, so with our learning options, I'll just very quickly go through that. So we have, um, I guess, 
three or four different options. So uh, we have open classroom courses, which we deliver across the re regions. Um, all our courses can be accessed um, via our website. So, um, yep, you can see those courses on our website. Student, look, students are um, supported by a trainer to understand the course content and achieve competency. And we do really welcome um, any support people um, from, from support agencies. You know, if a student is feeling a little anxious or a little vulnerable, sometimes it can be just to get them into the classroom and then they're fine. Um, but for those who may feel a little anxious around sitting in a, in a live classroom, and also for those who maybe cannot access a local classroom course, we, um, we did start online classrooms when COVID started. And so we've actually, um, I guess, brought that back and we're having um, monthly scheduled um, online Zoom classrooms. And that's really good for people who may still want that support of a trainer, but can't get to a course. It does require, of course, um, a device with a stable internet connection. Um, and students are guided through their digital assessments and learning material by the trainer. And our other option is our self-paced um, course, online self-paced course. So this is great for people who don't have time to get to a classroom course or to get to a scheduled um, Zoom online classroom course. And um, students can do it in their own time. What's really important with this course though, is that all students complete a phone assessment interview with a trainer when they complete all their competencies. Um, and this just helps for us, for the student to confirm their learning. It gives one-on-one -on -one time for the student to ask any of those questions, um, to talk through their tenancy issues, anything they may be unsure about. And we're getting great feedback that they really enjoy that one-on-one -on -one time with the trainer. And we're getting really good feedback from our trainers about the quality of those um, final assessment phone interviews. And lastly, we just have those private closed group options. So um, where it might be a community support service or a school, um, are sometimes different training and employment programs will look for us to deliver a course um, to their cohort. So next you'll see our certificate. Now this is the only certificate we give to students who complete the skill sets for, for successful tenancies course. Um, and the learning outcomes you'll see are, are included um, on the second page of the certificate. Uh, look, you're most welcome to email moderator at tenancy skills to confirm that that is um, that that student is legitimate, if you like. Um, but we, even with our introduction to renting, we don't give out certificates or anything, so that there's no confusion about someone who's done this course. Thanks, Mark. I'll quickly just go through our, our course content just to give you a bit of an idea um, of what we teach. So the first module: define, plan, and maintain effective communication. So this is really the baseline, the foundation um, of our tenant education, because we know and we've certainly heard very clearly uh, from our real estate supporters and from our friends who have helped us with course material, how important communication is. Um, so we provide all the information around effective communication with the tenancy. Um, we provide guidance regarding how to communicate with different audiences, how to keep communication records, uh, managing maintenance requests. And as I said, we do that um, for, the full for the full tenancy journey. So from um, before they're starting to even apply for properties, um, right through to um, how a tenant would end a tenancy, um, because we all know how important that is as well. So module two, um, understanding tenants' rights and responsibilities. So this assists students to understand their obligations as a tenant, um, understanding the responsibilities of all parties within a private tenancy. And really, I guess what we do is help students understand the how. So not only what are their obligations, but how do they actually fulfill those obligations? And we really go through step by step um, in each area of that. Um, we also explore the tenants' obligations and rights that exist, yeah, within each stage of that of that tenancy and that renting cycle, um, and really importantly, how to get help, um, where to get help, and how to really self advocate. So, module three: um, develop, implement, and monitor effective cleaning techniques. Uh, we spend quite a bit of time talking to students through the cleaning model, as we know it has such a major impact on tenancies. We know that tenants who maintain the cleanliness of their rental property throughout their entire tenancy are more likely to have their lease renewed, receive positive rental references for future tenancy applications, et cetera. 
Um, so this is a very practical module. We do a lot around cleaning schedules to help people really um, order and, and have some structure and order around how they keep the property clean. Um, we talk through and, and help them um, to know what cheap natural products they can use for different um, purposes. We spend a lot of time around even cleaning products and making sure that people aren't using wrong products and therefore, you know, maybe causing damage, et cetera. Um, and importantly, again, we talk through the whole tenancy journey. So routine inspections, exit inspections, bond cleans, et cetera. Um, and the other part with that scheduling, obviously, is it goes from day to day through to weekly, monthly and seasonally. Module four, just importantly, we don't provide financial advice because we're not financial advisors, but we do teach the basic principles of budgeting and financial management specifically within a tenancy. So we utilise the ASIC Money Smart training resources, which are really valuable if you haven't seen them before. Um, and module four really breaks down the reasons to budget how to build and stick to a budget, how to better manage their money through budgeting, um, unpacking debt, payday loans, et cetera, um, and also knowing where to get assistance when, when that's needed and, again, how to self-advocate. Now, just very quickly, Module 5, um, and I know I had mentioned that before, so it's Module 5 is only for our self-paced online course, and it is that final um, assessment interview, so a phone assessment interview. Um, and look, basically the student will go through to the end of their course in module five. Um, the second last slide, they click to download a, um, a question scenario. And then the last slide they click and it goes into a calendar and they book a course with one of our trainers and our trainer finds the, um, the student. So I'll just talk quickly around some of the benefits. So these are the benefits that have been reported both by students, um, by property managers, and also um, by community support services. So firstly, we see increased confidence. We realise that students understand now what is involved in renting and have the confidence to make great applications. Um, they communicate effectively with property managers and property owners, and their problem to their confidence, sorry, to problem solve tenancy issues as they arise, and ask the right questions that they need to be asking. Um, so we find that that's a yeah, really valuable benefit for students who complete our course. The other part I, is um, increased understanding. So students understand all that is involved in a tenancy and, and the important aspects to be aware of. Um, tenants understand the options available for assistance or support when they need it and how to access them. Um, and we see that that increased understanding goes hand in hand with, with increased confidence. We see those improved skills in our students. So students have developed the skills to provide great tenancy applications. They know how to apply for properties now. Um, they, know, they know how to problem solve tenancy issues and how to get in contact quickly with the property manager to sort through issues before they become problems. Um, and to, how to find the support information they need. They learn how to complete tenancy course um, forms how to manage maintenance issues and any other issues that are arising within their tenancy. And we see better outcomes in general. So of course, student outcomes, we see that students manage their tenancies better because they're engaging in positive and professional relationships with the property manager or property owner. Students are successful in gaining pro rental property. So we get a lot of feedback from students who have completed their course, um, saying they've found a property and that their tenancy is going well. Um, Students and, and property managers, yes, report positive tenancies. We'll see that more student outcomes will become more long-term as more people engage with our training. And same with housing outcomes. We do see that on, certainly on that individual level, but we're really looking forward to seeing, you know, improved tenancies, sustained tenancies, better experiences for all parties in a tenancy with less issues and less associated costs. Um, and as I said, we are seeing that, but we really would like to see that more long-term as more people do engage. So I'm just gonna start talking about our investment in relationships. And first and foremost, um, I guess, just talking about um, the REIQ, the RTA and the Queensland government. So positive and purposeful relationships are vital. Um, for our education to make a positive impact. We, we know that and we know that we need, to, and it's really important to us to have good relationships across the board. Um, we, we also know that um, we have a small role within the broader, broader housing community. 
Um, however, we know what we can provide can really support the work of property managers and property owners and, and, and noting that, you know, about 93% of rental housing is provided um, through the real estate industry and through private landlords. So it is important that we're supported um, by peak and governing bodies. So we have a great um, relationship with the REIQ. Um, we do some co-promotion. We're recommended by the REIQ um, to, to all their members. Um, we attend zone events um, and we'll often even speak at, at different zone, event, zone events, sorry. Um, and we have excellent um, relationships with the REIQ leadership and also their board and get a lot of um, support from both board level and, and their leadership. RTA, we have a great relationship with. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work together um, since tenancy skills began. Um, so a couple of things, um, the RTA have been great with doing content reviews on our education material, um, certainly promoting our education. We join with the RTA going to different roadshows around um, the state when they happen. So um, going and supporting what the RTA is doing and, and vice versa. Um, and we're also involved in an RTA working group um, which is around education and communication. So yeah, we have a great relationship with them. Um, and also with the Queensland government, so the Department of um, Communities, Housing and Digital Economies. Um, so of course there's funding support um, from them, but also we have um, really broad support, especially through the um, housing service centres. So the house, each housing service centre is quite involved with us, um, with referrals, with, um, we have meetings constantly um, and just seeing what's happening in the local contents, that, that context that help us with venues, et cetera. Thanks, Mark. So investing in um, positive and purpose relationships is foundational. Um, to Tenancy Skills Institute, um, because we know that that's so important in providing not only quality, but appropriate and relevant tenant education. Um, we value the many relationships we invest in through the real estate industry, um, through the community support sector, including those people involved in housing and in homelessness, and also with, um, especially with local communities. Thanks, Mark. So I'll just talk quickly to that. Um, so yeah, obviously um, the REIQ um, we're involved with, um, and currently we have 190 real estate agency supporters in Queensland. So it's really vital that we invest in developing positive purpose relationships with the real estate industry. As I said, 93% of rental stock is provided by property owners and real estate agencies. Um, and it's a very important part of our work um, we understand that by meeting, and it's our mission, by meeting the needs of property managers and the real estate industry that we create real and genuine pathways for future tenants, regardless of their background. Um, so we see that through our supporters and many other um, real estate agencies um, who aren't yet official supporters and property managers, really see the value of our education options and get involved by um, guest speaking at our classroom courses. Uh, we do have a number of people who provide us with content deep feedback um, and also sharing our course information with their tenants in the local community. Um, we know that property managers who support our program really value the graduate certificate, knowing that that potential tenant has invested up to 10 hours, um, not only to complete the course, but better prepare themselves to maintain a good tenancy, which is possibly the property owner's largest asset. Um, we engage and um, work in the community support sector, so both broadly and with with local communities. And this ensures that our tenant education is available for people who are being supported in tenancies um, or to gain a tenancy, to build their knowledge and skills as tenants and be able to rent, um, enter the private rental market when they're ready or successfully maintain their current tenancies. We know that um, this is especially helpful for young people and first time renters, which is why it's really important for us to um, connect with those different youth services, youth support agencies, schools, et cetera. Um, and local communities are really important partners um, to us. So we invest in relationships in, in local communities. Uh, so we visit local communities, not only when we're training, but also just to go and um, do some community engagement. Um, we, we really value the relationships that we have with local real estates, uh, with local councils and local infrastructure like libraries, community centres, et cetera, um, connecting with local schools, obviously local community support organisations and local traditional owner groups um, of our First Nations people. 
I'll just give you a, a quick um, update of the upcoming courses. So you can see those courses. We'll just um, give that a little bit of time for you to read through. So they're the ones we have happening in June. Thanks, Mark. Go to the next slide. Here are some open courses we have happening in July. Um, I'd encourage you to, um, to check our website regularly if you're looking for something in your area because we are continually also updating our calendar with new courses. This is just what we have in place at the moment. And these ones are to be advertised in August. You will see there that we had those online, um, so that's fine, we can leave it there, Mark, um, those online um, Zoom courses. So they're, as I said, they're scheduled monthly, which means if you do have tenants or people you're supporting that um, you know, are not in an area where there's a classroom available, they have those two options of either the online Zoom um, classroom course or to do the online self-paced course. So how can you help? So Influence is not an influence is, is not a new term, is it? Uh, you know, we've had mums, dads, aunties, teachers, inspirational lead, people in our lives, you know, for, for, for a long time. So I don't think it's something that's just come through on Facebook and social media. Uh, but this is something that we really do rely on is um, the influences in local communities and really to increase the, the awareness of our training. Um, so our influences are definitely, yep, mums, dads, aunties, teachers, et cetera. Um, certainly, um, you know, local service providers, um, support workers, librarians, teachers, local council, job network providers, et cetera, et cetera. And you'll see that there's ways that you can really, um, I guess, help by, um, you know, knowing more about what we're offering and then being able to support people to access our training. Um, so you can certainly check and share our information. Um, and we certainly have a lot of information on our website, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Um, we also do emails directly and through local networks um, and also, um, we have a new website which will be coming on board in the next few weeks and there will be um, lots of different course information and stuff there. Thanks very much, everyone. Um, really just open for questions now, Mark. Mark, a uh, really interesting um, look at, uh, at, at your organisation and, and what you do. Thanks very much for sharing a lot of that. I guess for, from our end, or from, uh, certainly a personal thing, I didn't realise the, the connectivity through um, the the, you know, not only uh, ourselves as the RTA, the REIQ, but the the community connection uh, that goes along with with what you do out there. It's fantastic. Thank you. So we do have a couple of questions that have come in. Um, I think you did touch on this, but one of the questions was uh, around the cost for the um, the courses. Yeah. So yeah, there is no cost to students. Um, so everything we do is fully funded. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, another question there, the outcome aspect uh, or any difference between the outcome with an online or a face-to-face -face course? Yeah, thank you. That's a really good question. And it's something that we do um, get asked quite a lot. To be honest, it's really around um, the personal style of that of of the person who's needing to access our training. Um, so we see that both actually have excellent outcomes, um, which is why I really wanted to speak earlier around um, that final phone assessment interview, uh, because that's a really important part of the students learning to have that one-on-one -on -one time with the trainer and really talk through um, you know, their own, their own situation. Um, so for some people, they might not get that chance in a classroom environment. Uh, you know, they might be a little bit shy or something to speak, you know, when there are others in a class, whereas in that one-on-one -on -one interview, it, it's, it's all their time. So they can be as shy as they want and say whatever they want and ask whatever questions they want. Um, I, I guess the one-on-one the -on -one interview is kind of similar to maybe the guest speaking when our, when our, um, our real estate um, supporter comes and guest speaks in a classroom and the students get that opportunity to just ask questions they normally wouldn't ask um, yep. but this is in that one-on-one -on -one time so really it is personal choice both do um, provide excellent outcomes for students uh, very good uh, now someone's inquired here uh, around when do the courses run are they all year around or only certain times uh, that match up with the terms in a school year or 
lots sure. to go there. Yeah. So no, we we run courses all year round. Um, we generally will have that little bit of a break around that Christmas time, just because nobody really wants to be um, <laughs> attending courses just before Christmas or between the Christmas New Year. That's so fair yeah, enough. we um, we finish sort of you know I guess finish our tr our classroom training sort of mid mid late December and then sort of start again early mid January. So yeah, all year. Very good. And one final one, and I think, again, this might have been touched on, but we can provide a little bit more information. Uh, so from a support worker with uh, an anxious client, uh, are they able to assist or what, what options are available uh, in those circumstances? Thanks, Mark. Yeah, actually, there's a few options and one thing that I didn't get to mention is um, we're developing a mentoring role um, which will just be simply um, doing a, sh a short um, training webinar with our training manager going through the online course and then having resources to support people through the online course so that's one of the things um, that can be really helpful um, and yeah the other thing is obviously um, final fin final assessment interviews we encourage and welcome support workers to sit um, with their client or, you know, with the student, um, if that's what's needed around any anxiety. Same with attending a class, as yes, I had mentioned earlier. Um, we sometimes will have a support worker just come to the class and because they know that that, that person is, is quite anxious or quite shy, but they do need to sit in a classroom. So we're really open and flexible to have whatever support is needed to help people to understand all the content and be competent. Uh, fantastic. Well, that's really good to know. All right. Well, Mark, we really appreciate uh, you coming along today and sharing all of that with us. Um, just from uh, the RTA perspective, ladies and gents, um, be aware of our education um, opportunities or, or uh, access. So our emailed newsletter, uh, subscribe to uh, eNews. Uh, we do have our Talking Tenancies podcast. Uh, and obviously the webinars such as today, and they're all available through our uh, website. So again, thank you very much for attending. Uh, and if there is any need to contact us, there's our website and phone number. And hopefully we'll see you at our uh, at our next web at our next webinar. My apologies. Thanks very much. Cheers.